So in this video, I want to talk to you about getting your dog to stop the recall or stop coming to you, which sounds counterintuitive, um, but there's a reason you're going to want to know this. So if a dog is coming towards you, they're in prey drive, they're, they're trying to get to you, they're trying to play with you or be obedient to you, but there could be a danger. There could be something in the way, there could be a, a car coming or something like that. You want your dog to always pay attention and not perform like a robot. So if he's coming to me, I want to be able to tell him down or stop or whatever it is. And we're going to show you how to do that with Jimmy. So if I walk away from Jimmy and I say, Jimmy, come, he's going to come. Right? And so will Goofy. Goofy, go lay down. Jimmy, come. And he comes. Right? So if I say, Jimmy, sit, stay, and I walk away, and I tell Jimmy, Jimmy, come, he comes. But what if that's crossing a street and there's a car coming or anything like that? So Jimmy, sit. And when I want to teach him to down here, no, sit. Now the distraction for him is the cheese, right? So if I say, Jimmy, sit, stay, sit, stay. And his natural thing when I say the recall word is going to be to come to me, but I want to teach him how to stop there, okay, is I need to block the behavior. So if I say, Jimmy, come down. Yes. I I stop his movement by putting frontal or spatial pressure on the dog. Sit, stay, right? And from here, ah, sit, good. So when I say to him, watch when I put the correction, which is my frontal pressure, in with the word. I say, Jimmy, come, down. This, just this much pressure makes him confused about coming so he knows he's got to stay there yes yes jimmy right here and again i go into the context of throwing the treat behind the dog because we don't want the dog to start to forge forward on us and and start to confuse what we're trying to get him to do jimmy come down good Yes. Goofy, you're on your ball. So a lot of people ask, ask about training two dogs at once. When you have two dogs that are very obedient, it's really a good test to their obedience. But if they're not trained, you're not going to do it. So don't make the mistake of trying to train two dogs at once that aren't trained because they're going to start playing with each other. Jimmy, sit. Good. Jimmy, come. Yeah, good boy. And every once in a while, I'm going to let him complete the recall so that he doesn't always think I'm going to stop him. And that's a real big danger in teaching this, that if you're starting to teach a down on recall or an interrupted movement, you do it too much and the dog starts to think every time he calls me, he's going to stop me. And that dog will then start to be very apprehensive on the recall and you'll ruin a really good recall. So every once in a while, if you have a dog you're training this with, say, come, come, come. Yes. And let him complete the recall. So here I'm going to change it this time. Jimmy, come down. And then I walk away. So I use the spatial pressure. I blocked him from coming. Good down. Yes. I throw the treat behind him. Do the same thing again. So this time I'm going to let him complete it. Come. Yes. Goofy, go lay down. Jimmy, sit. Good. Nope. Sit. Good. So this time I'll block him from coming. Jimmy, come. Down. Notice he's not coming past this leg right now. Yes. Right there, Jim. Right here, Jimmy. Okay, well, Goofy got it. Here, Jimmy. Jimmy. There you go. Good boy. Um, let me show it to you one more time. 
This time what I'll do is I won't use the leg and to see where he'll stop. Jimmy, sit. Good, wait. No, sit. Wait. Jimmy, come. Jimmy, down. And there's a perfect example that exactly when I said down, he downed a good 10, 11 feet away from me and he had about 18 feet to, to, to do the whole recall, right? So here he stopped, he's downing, he sees the treat, he's not coming for the treat because I've never rewarded him here. If I rewarded him here, he would complete the come or the recall for the treat. But what does he think? He thinks the treat's gonna end up where? Behind him, yes. And that's where he's always gonna go. So he's gonna wait in this place and his reward has always been behind him for this exercise. And always, always, always finish this exercise, this training up with a bunch of fun recalls. Jimmy, come. Yes. Jimmy, 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 come. Yes, make this a party for him. Let him have a lot of fun. Let him see that he should be coming to you unless you use a real strong down to get him to go down because he's such an obedient, such a good boy. And the most important thing I want to teach you about training your dog, the most important thing that you have to realize with your dog is love your dog. Love the dog you got. And if the dog can't get what you're trying to teach him, it's not the dog's fault. It might be your fault. He might just not be the right dog for that exercise, but you, you got the dog you got. I've said that a thousand times. Love your dog because what he makes up for in his love and his dedication to you, he might lack in some obedience, but it doesn't matter. It's all about the love you share with your dog and give him all that love every single day. Right, Jimmy? Good boy.